Hello, this is Dr. Heath Van Horn. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about doing lab 19 on Packet Tracer. So what we have here is a network that I already pre-labeled and pre-initialized all the um, ports so that way we can communicate. All the arrows are green. However, we cannot talk on this network because we have not set up eGrip. So, uh, what we're going to do is uh, first, I always do my labels first, and if I am doing um, eGrip, I always forget which channel I'm using, so I always write it in up here. So we'll use channel 20, and we'll start with the green router. All right, so if we want to see, um, or let's just start uh, config T, and eGrip is very similar to eGrip uh, in IPv4, except you do not have to set um, the individual networks that are going to be using. Instead, you set the ports. So we're going to do that right now. So we're going to say IPv6, eGrip 20, oops, sorry, router, eGrip 20. All right, and then we're going to give the eGrip um, link a name. And so we're going to just call it eGrip router ID. And we'll call it 8888. No shut. And that's all there is to it. eGrip is now turned on. Now all we have to do is go into each individual interface and um, configure each interface to use eGrip 20. IPv6. Grip 20, interface FA00, IPv6, eGrip 20, interface SE000, IPv6, eGrip 20. Alright, so that sets up eGrip on the green router. Let's go to the grass router and we'll do the exact same thing. <sighs> IPv6 router eGrip 20 because we all need to be on the same eGrip to talk to each other. And we're going to give this one a different ID because the uh, routers need to differentiate between each other. So we'll call this one um, eGrip router ID 9999. Whoops. 9999. Nine, nine, nine. And I forgot a dash. All right. No shut because we don't want the eGrip route to turn off. All right, so now it's on. That's all there is to that. So now we, again, we go to each interface. Let's see, 0, 1, 0. IPv6, eGrip 20. Now it says we have a new adjacency because that one is attached to that one up there. So we already got that up and working, so that's a good sign. None of our others will give us this because we don't have them turned on yet, but that's okay. Interface FA00, IPv6, eGrip 20, interface SE001, IPv6, eGrip 20. All right, so that takes care of that router. So let's look at the Lime router. And we are going 
to do the exact same thing. IPv6 router egrip20 egrip router ID is going to be 7777 no shut and that does that okay now we again we interface SE000 and we say IPv6 egrip20 and it says new adjacency that's great that's exactly what we want to see interface SE001 IPv6 egrip20 all right another adjacency detected so that's exactly what we want to see and interface with FA00 IPv6 egrip20 and that's it so now egrip is now established in all these activities and so we can go here and we can look at the IP address and then go to PC5 and we can try to ping it. So if we want to ping FE80, sorry, that means link local, so I know that one's wrong. A9, 201, Charlie, 9, Foxtrot, 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 Echo, 20, 9, Charlie, Five, four. And we get a hundred percent reply. So that means our egrip is working. If we want to try to ping the other one, we just do the same thing. Ping eight four echo Charlie two zero bravo. Bravo, Echo, Foxtrot, 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 Echo, zero, 07, 7, Charlie, Bravo, Delta. And again, we got 100% reply. So that means eGrip is working. And so now we have eGrip working on IPv6.